If you're dealing with joint pain or arthritis, you've probably tried supplements that promise relief. But what if I told you most of the popular ones that you're taking don't actually work and could even be wasting your money? In this video, I'm going to break down the top joint health supplements for 2025, separating fat from fiction in showing you which ones are actually worth your time and your money. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. I'm a sports medicine physician practicing in the San Francisco Bay Area and I help patients battling joint pain and arthritis every single day. One of the most common questions I get is which supplements actually help. I'm going to take you through the latest research and show you the supplements that have real evidence backing them up. Let's start with the supplements that may not be worth your money for joint health. These are the ones that either don't have strong research supporting them or have failed to show consistent benefits in high quality studies. First up is ginger. It's well known for its natural anti-inflammatory properties, primarily due to bioactive compounds like gingerol. And these have been shown in lab studies to inhibit pro-inflammatory cytokines such as TNF-alpha, IL-1-beta, and IL-6. In theory, this should make it an excellent candidate for reducing arthritis-related pain and inflammation. However, clinical evidence doesn't hold up when put to the test in large, well-controlled studies. A 2020 systematic review and meta-analysis analyzed multiple randomized controlled trials on ginger for knee osteoarthritis and found insufficient evidence that it provides meaningful pain relief or functional improvement. While some smaller studies have suggested mild benefits, the effect sizes are small and the studies often had methodological limitations such as small sample sizes, lack of blinding, and short-term follow-up. Another major issue with ginger is its bioavailability. The body doesn't absorb ginger's active compounds well when taken orally in supplement form. Some research suggests that higher doses are needed to see an effect, but these doses can cause gastrointestinal side effects like heartburn, nausea, and bloating, and all of these could outweigh any minor benefits. Now, if you enjoy Enjoy using ginger in your diet, that's great. It has general antioxidant and digestive benefits. But if you're buying ginger supplements specifically for joint pain, the evidence suggests it may not be worth the money. Next, we're going to move into supplements that have good to solid research behind them. These aren't necessarily the best of the best, but they're absolutely worth considering, especially if you're looking for ways to support your joints naturally. Let's start with vitamin D. It's well known for its crucial role in calcium absorption and bone metabolism metabolism, helping to maintain bone mineral density and reducing fracture risk. Given that osteoarthritis involves both cartilage degradation and subchondral bone changes, researchers have been interested in whether vitamin D supplementation could improve joint health. So what does the science say? A 2021 meta-analysis reviewed multiple randomized control trials examining vitamin D supplementation in people with knee osteoarthritis. The results showed that vitamin D supplementation led to improved in pain, function, and stiffness compared to placebo. However, while statistically significant, the effect size was small meaning the improvements were modest at best and may not be clinically meaningful for most people. One possible reason for these limited effects is that vitamin D deficiency itself may be the bigger problem rather than supplementation being a direct treatment for osteoarthritis. Some studies suggest that individuals with low baseline vitamin D levels may experience greater pain and faster cartilage loss, and supplementation helps prevent further deterioration rather than actively repairing damaged joints. So what's the verdict? Well, vitamin D supplementation may offer slight improvements in osteoarthritis symptoms, but it's not a game changer for joint pain. However, if you're deficient in vitamin D, which is fairly common especially in older adults or people with limited sun exposure, then supplementation is definitely worth considering for overall bone health and long-term joint support. Okay, so the next supplement to discuss discuss is collagen. Collagen is an essential structural protein that forms the scaffolding of cartilage, tendons, ligaments, and connective tissues. Given that osteoarthritis is characterized by the progressive breakdown and loss of cartilage, the idea behind collagen supplementation is that it might help restore joint integrity reduce pain, and improve function by stimulating cartilage repair and reducing inflammation. So, does it actually work? A 2024 systematic review and meta-analysis found that oral collagen supplementation significantly improved both pain and 
function in individuals with knee osteoarthritis. The effect size was clinically meaningful, demonstrating a notable reduction in both pain and improved mobility. These findings suggest that collagen may play a direct role in joint health, potentially by enhancing cartilage synthesis, reducing inflammatory markers, and promoting extracellular matrix stability. But while the research on collagen and osteoarthritis is promising, several questions remain, particularly regarding the optimal dosage and the most effective type of collagen for joint health. Hydrolyzed collagen is the most widely studied form, known for its high bioavailability and efficient absorption. Undenatured, type 2 collagen is believed to work through immune modulation rather than direct cartilage rebuilding, with some studies suggesting it may help reduce joint inflammation. Marine collagen, derived from fish, has also been investigated, but to a lesser extent, and its effectiveness compared to other forms remains unclear. So based on current evidence, collagen supplementation appears to have stronger scientific support for improving osteoarthritis symptoms when compared to many other joint supplements. While it is not a cure, it does provide clinically meaningful pain relief and functional benefits, making it a valuable option for those seeking to support joint health naturally. Just keep in mind that further research is needed to determine the optimal dosage and the most effective form of collagen for joint health. Now let's discuss fish oil and omega-3 fatty acids. These are well known for their strong anti-inflammatory properties, primarily due to their high concentrations of essential fatty acids such as EPA and DHA. Omega-3s have been studied extensively for their role in cardiovascular health, cognitive function, and systemic inflammation. But do these benefits extend to joint health as well? A 2023 meta-analysis examined the effects of omega-3 supplementation on pain relief and joint function in osteoarthritis. The findings showed a small but statistically significant benefit, suggesting that omega-3s may help reduce joint pain and improve mobility in people with osteoarthritis. However, the effect size seems to be around that of vitamin D and notably less than that of collagen, meaning that while omega-3s may provide some relief, they are not a game changer for osteoarthritis management. The mechanism behind omega-3s potential joint benefits likely come from its ability to reduce inflammatory mediators like prostaglandins, leukotrienes, and cytokines, which play a role in cartilage degradation and pain signaling. Some research suggests that omega-3s may also help enhance joint lubrication and slow the progression of osteoarthritis, but these effects appear to be modest and highly variable among individuals. Overall, omega-3 supplementation may provide mild to moderate relief for osteoarthritis symptoms, particularly for those with underlying inflammation or diets low in omega-3 fatty acids. However, its impact on joint pain appears to be limited when compared to something like collagen, which has shown more clinically meaningful improvements in function and pain reduction. If you're already taking fish oil for heart health or general wellness, there's no harm in continuing. But if you're looking for a supplement specifically to target joint pain, omega-3s may not be the most effective option. And what about one of the most popular joint health supplements, glucosamine and chondroitin? These two compounds are frequently taken together because they serve as key building blocks of cartilage. Given that osteoarthritis involves the gradual breakdown of cartilage, the theory is that by supplementing with glucosamine and chondroitin, we could help slow degeneration, reduce inflammation, and support joint repair. A 2022 meta-analysis evaluated their effectiveness and found that glucosamine and chondroitin supplementation significantly improved pain and functional scores when compared to placebo with a moderate effect size. This places it in a similar range of effectiveness to collagen, suggesting that it offers clinically meaningful relief for some individuals with osteoarthritis. The proposed mechanisms behind glucosamine and chondroitin's effects involve reducing cartilage degradation and modulating in inflammation. Glucosamine is thought to stimulate proteoglycan and hyaluronic acid production, which helps maintain the structural integrity of cartilage. Chondroitin, on the other hand, inhibits enzymes that break down cartilage while also helping retain water within the joint space, and this improves lubrication and improves shock absorption. Some studies have also suggested that these compounds reduce levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines, which may help alleviate pain over time. So overall, glucosamine and chondroitin 
appear to be legitimate options for managing osteoarthritis symptoms with a moderate effect size comparable to collagen. While they won't reverse cartilage loss, they might help slow progression and provide noticeable pain relief, making them a worthwhile consideration for those looking to support joint health naturally. All right, so now we've made it to the best joint health supplements. These are the ones with the strongest scientific backing. These have been rigorously tested in clinical trials and the results are impressive. If you're going to try supplements for your joints, these are the ones to consider first. Let's start with turmeric and curcumin. Curcumin, the active compound in turmeric, is known for its potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. It works by inhibiting pro-inflammatory pathways including NF-kappa-beta, COX-2, and TNF-alpha. These are directly involved in the progression of osteoarthritis and joint pain. Unlike many other natural compounds that show promise in laboratory studies but fail in clinical trials, curcumin has repeatedly demonstrated significant pain relief and functional improvement in human studies. A 2022 meta-analysis found that curcumin significantly reduced pain and improved function in individuals with knee osteoarthritis, showing clinically meaningful benefits. Another large-scale review confirmed these findings, highlighting that curcumin's pain-relieving effects are comparable to NSAID medications like ibuprofen, Advil, and naproxen, which is Aleve, but without the gastrointestinal and cardiovascular side effects associated with long-term NSAID use. Curcumin's ability to reduce joint pain and stiffness may stem from its dual action. It not only lowers inflammation, but also protects cartilage from oxidative stress. However, one major limitation is bioavailability. Curcumin is poorly absorbed when taken alone. This is why many high quality formulations combine curcumin with black pepper extract or use liposomal and nanoparticle delivery systems to enhance absorption and effectiveness. Overall, curcumin stands out as one of the most effective natural supplements for joint health with benefits comparable to pharmaceutical interventions, but with a significantly better safety profile. For individuals looking for a clinically proven, well-tolerated option to manage joint pain and improve function, turmeric and curcumin should be at the top of the list. The last supplement to discuss is Boswellia serrata, also known as Indian frankincense. This botanical extract has been used for centuries in traditional medicine for its potent anti-inflammatory properties, and modern research has provided strong evidence supporting its effectiveness for joint health. A 2020 systematic review confirmed that Boswellia extract is both effective and safe for treating osteoarthritis, particularly in the knee joint where it has been shown to significantly reduce pain and improve function. The review also highlighted that treatment durations of at least four weeks were necessary to achieve noticeable benefits. Compared to other joint health supplements, Boswellia demonstrated some of the strongest effects for reducing osteoarthritis-related pain and stiffness, making it one of the most promising natural options for joint support. Boswellia works primarily by inhibiting the enzyme 5-lipoxygenase, which plays a key role in the production of leukotrienes. These are inflammatory molecules that contribute to cartilage degradation and joint inflammation inflammation. Unlike NSAID medications like ibuprofen or naproxen, which target the COX pathway, Boswellia focuses on a different inflammatory cascade, potentially providing synergistic benefits when combined with other anti-inflammatory treatments. Some studies also suggest that Boswellia may slow cartilage degradation and protect chondrocytes, further supporting its role as a long-term joint health supplement. One of the advantages of Boswellia, like turmeric and curcumin, is its strong safety profile, with research showing minimal side effects with prolonged use. Additionally, standardized extracts such as those containing boswellic acids appear to have the most potent therapeutic effects. Overall, Boswellia serrata is one of the most well-supported natural treatments for osteoarthritis, with research showing robust improvements in pain and function. Given its strong anti-inflammatory action and excellent tolerability, it stands out as one of the best options for those looking to support their joints naturally. So when it comes to joint health supplements with the strongest evidence, my first recommendation for patients is turmeric curcumin. It has been extensively studied, consistently demonstrating significant pain relief and functional improvement 
all while maintaining an exceptionally favorable safety profile. The standard dose recommended is 1000 mg once daily, preferably in a bioavailable formulation that includes black pepper extract or a lipid-based delivery system to enhance absorption. If symptoms persist despite curcumin supplementation, the next thing I have my patients do is to add Boswellia serrata. Boswellia has shown some of the most powerful effects for reducing osteoarthritis-related pain and stiffness, working through a different anti-inflammatory pathway than curcumin. However, dosing can vary significantly based on whether the supplement contains Boswellia resin or a standardized extract. In general, it's best to follow the manufacturer's recommended dosage. And as always, consult with your healthcare provider to see if these supplements are appropriate for you. Now, one quick thing on how to pick a supplement. The supplement industry is notoriously unregulated, meaning that not all products are created equal. Some may contain lower doses than advertised, undisclosed ingredients, or even harmful contaminants. That's why I always recommend choosing NSF or USP certified supplements. These are third-party certifications, meaning they independently assess products without any ties to the companies that produce them. Not only do they verify that what's on the label is actually in the bottle, but they also perform toxicology reviews to certify safe formulation and conduct contaminant testing to ensure there are no harmful substances or undeclared ingredients. For those interested, I've linked some NSF and USP certified supplements in the video description. While this doesn't guarantee effectiveness, it does provide an extra layer of quality assurance that makes these options more reliable than uncertain certified alternatives. Just keep in mind that these links are not endorsements and results may still vary person to person. Lastly, we've talked about the best supplements for joint health, but there's something even more fundamental that plays a massive role in how your joints feel, your nutrition. Studies have linked deficiencies in magnesium and vitamin K to worsening osteoarthritis, increased pain, and overall poor joint health. And while supplements can help, they're only one piece of the puzzle. So if you want to take a real science-backed approach to protecting your joints, check out this deep dive on how nutrition directly affects joint health. You'll learn exactly which foods can help reduce inflammation, support cartilage, and keep your joints feeling their best.